They have known this was coming for seven months and they chose to steal from this man as she pulls away in a Cadillac Escalade. I'm over here. Every time you have to come down to certain neighborhoods in Cleveland, I mean, you literally have to arm yourself. That's fine. There's just the, the cops out. There's cops outside. They said that they kicked either you or somebody else out the other day. So mattresses, all the beds, everything just lined up on the tree lawn. Again, you might start to feel sad, and you might be thinking, "Oh, this is horrible. How could you post this?" These poor people in the other units are washing their clothes after him. And they're getting his shit on their clothes. Look at this fucking pimp car. It's fucking sweet. Well, where'd you go? Chase him off from the other apartments? What's the story? Just something that you have to deal with. We gotta get in there, remove the stuff, and move on. Now, when Holton Wise filed that eviction back in February, right they the know road. that the eviction is filed. They're noticed. And then we go to court four weeks later. We went to court. We won in court. And then the tenant was given today's date at court. They were given. It's called a writ of restitution. The person who owns that SUV right there uh, is a narcotics dealer. I don't understand why the drug dealers are so shocked when they get pulled over by police, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I don't really think anything is more clear that I sell drugs than uh, that dude's car right there. When your rims are more than your vehicle, that is typically an indication uh, that you're selling drugs. I'm over here, every time you have to come down to certain neighborhoods in Cleveland, I mean, you literally have to arm yourself. I mean, it's ridiculous and it's not about uh, you know, arming yourself because you're a tough guy uh, or you're like a cowboy or, you know, a badass watching like an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie or something like that. No, man. Uh, it's just completely... It's about safety. <laughs> oh, fuck no, dude. They got their straps cocked, no. Yeah, no, dude. I mean, bro, you think those guys don't have a bunch of fucking guns in their sweatpants? <laughs> Need the keys out for. Right. But we're yeah. gonna put a lock on there and we're That's gonna, we're gonna give it to I you. Came to butcher <laughs> and uh took a lot of bugs out hoping they cause it'd be dark in the motherfucker. She's got done talking to the bailiff. Looks like she's gonna be pulling off now. Looks like it's finally she's finally come to the realization that uh, she is not gonna be able to steal from this landlord anymore. And uh as she pulls away, grab her car there real quick. I want to I point something out to you guys. As this girl pulls away, notice that she is driving a Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> if, that, if that isn't the most ironic thing you've ever seen in your life, the fact that this girl, seven months, giving her sob story to the bailiffs, giving her sob story to the crew out there, and she pulls off in her Cadillac Escalade. You got a hard-working American down there in North Carolina. <laughs> Tried to be the nice guy, tried not to evict her for those first three months, and now he is seven months into this thing, and this girl's giving her sob story as she pulls away in a Cadillac Escalade. Tell her the police that were here yesterday are here today. Okay. She wants to go. We got a free ride. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Sorry. That lady asked for a buying it. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, no. Yeah. yeah, really. Well, that's the uh, third door over there. No, no, go, uh, go on, go on, please. Cause you gotta tell me what the fuck to say out my mouth. I mean, I got kids, dude. I got kids at home. So, you know, whenever I'm out in a less than stellar neighborhood like this, whenever I'm out, uh, in an area that is just so rife with crime, you know, I'm gonna make sure I protect myself.
right? I mean, knock on wood, hopefully I won't ever have to use it. I've never used it, uh, had to use it before. Um, but, you know, if it comes down to it, I'd rather have it and not need it, have it and not use it, rather than not have it and end up dead, right? Dude, that fucking... Hennessy <laughs> fucking... <laughs> That's a straight up fucking Hennessy stand. Look at this fucking pimp car. That's fucking sweet. That dude sells pussy. You know Snoop Dogg used to smell pussy? Talks about it all the time. Now, as you're watching the guys take out the final set of this person's belongings, you're seeing all the mattresses, all the beds, everything just lined up on the tree lawn. Again, you might start to feel sad, and you might be thinking, oh, this is horrible. How could you post this? I was just waiting for her to grab the rest of her shit to get out of here. We have a tough thing on. We're putting all that shit on my floor. I got enough for all. I grandma that lives next door. I actually, like, um, that hurts. It's probably going to be as late as my grandpa, you know? That's fine. Yeah, so, there's only one more thing I need. There's, like, a plate of food right there that I wanted to grab. It's her plate. Me and the bailiff shut up the victim. I, you know, talked to the bailiff and I warned him. I'm like, hey man, just so you know, this unit smells really bad. And you know, the bailiff's like, yeah, right, man. How bad can it be? You know, he's done 100 evictions. He's like, ah, oh, it's nothing. We open the door. I immediately start dry heaving because the smell just like hits you in the face, like someone hit you with a shovel. The bailiff like has to like turn away. The smell's so bad, and he's trying to talk to the guy with his hand over his mouth. And the guy's just like, oh, it's not me, it's not me, it's not my smell. You got a quarter for a shot of Hennessy at the stand? <laughs> As she pulls away in a Cadillac Escalade. Look at the feds. I mean, I would assume we look like DEA agents, honestly. But, again... Remember, this person has had seven months that they have chosen not to pay rent to this landlord. And this landlord is not a big corporation. Again, you see Holton Wise, you see the signs, you see the trucks, but you see Holton Wise, we represent individual landlords. Nope. lamps, you know, just regular. That's fine. There's just the, the cops out. There's cops outside. They said that they kicked either you or somebody else out the other day. So yeah. they're waiting for everybody to get out. Well, apparently they talked to the tenant and I guess the tenant doesn't even live here anymore. So we're going to have to start clearing everybody out. It's a possibility. It's just, you know, you were saying that the owner doesn't even return our calls. Yeah, the owner just doesn't get back to us for this. If you invest in real estate, eventually this hand will be dealt to you, and it's just something that you have to deal with. We got to get in there, remove the stuff, and move on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.